<laughs> what the hell did I do? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Why did I decide to go camping in the middle of the woods by myself? Oh, oh, what was that? Something just went. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh. I guess the really big question is. Why the hell do I have this flashlight shining in my face? I, I should be shining it where I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. I can't see anything. This flashlight sucks. I'm so scared. What am I? Ooh, I know. I'll head to that barn. I'll head to the barn. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 this is scary. This is so scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh cool. A random ass barn in the middle of nowhere. This is bound to be safe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Anybody in there? Oh my god. What's that? What's that? Oh. Everybody, it's me, Nate, aka Devil Dog, and I'm back with a new video. Hopefully, you kind of had a, a little laugh or two with my opening for this. But I want to give a big shout out, a big thanks for Joyce and their company for sending me this product to test. That's right, they sent me this in the mail. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what they decided to send me to test. Uh, last time, I believe it was some uh, water backpacks they had sent me to test. And uh, honestly, they were pretty good products, especially considering you got two of them rather cheap. The only thing that I, I did complain about on that was uh, there was a problem with like the tube that would tw twist and you know, kind of leak on you. But other than that, but let's go ahead and open this package up and see what they had sent me. Okay, it's a box with a box. It's Boxception. See, I wonder if I'm going to get a box within a box of a box. Let's go to, oh, no, okay, here we go. What is it that you sent me here? A bunch of stuff in the bottom. Okay, and um, directions. Don't need directions. Ah, I see what it is. They have sent me this bad boy right here. That's right. This is the Sank Lee. Uh, Sen no, Senlinky. Senlinky. It is a Senlinky rechargeable spotlight. Um, this bad boy right here, I think, is 6,000 lumens of ultra high brightness. And um, it has a focus spot beam. And they claim it can go up to 800 meters. And with its focused beam. Don't worry, I will be testing it. It has three different brightness modes when you press down on the button. It's got a highlight, a medium light, and when you press it a couple times, it'll go into a flashing light like an SOS mode. Uh, it also has a side light here, which is a, a side floodlight for camping. It has three modes for that as well with the one button down here. A high mode, a medium mode, and a red and blue flashing emergency mode, which is pretty good if you're out and about and you have like automotive problems. Uh, this would be something good to keep in your car with you to help you see and possibly if you need help, you know, get for uh, help. Now, they claim this thing contains three large capacities capacity lithium ion rechargeable batteries and they claim you can recharge it up to a thousand times before you'll notice any loss in the power and the charge and you can have a total lamp life of this of over a hundred thousand hours 
I doubt I'm going to be able to test that one, but I will be doing a lot of tests on this thing. Now, they also claim at fully charged that this can stay on for anywhere from 16 to 24 hours. Naturally, I'm assuming 16 would probably be on the highest setting, 24 would probably be on the lowest setting. I will be testing that as well. And it apparently can recharge your cell phone because on the back here, you've got this little rubber thing you can pull out. You got a little plug there for your charging of it. And then you got a USB adapter right there so you can actually charge your phone off of this. I'll be testing that to see how well it charges phones as well. And a claim it is impact resistant and water resistant, not waterproof. Because if they said waterproof, I was gonna submerge this thing into a bathtub and see how it lasted. But I'm not gonna do that. But we're gonna put this bad boy through several tests, several intense tests to see how good the quality of this San Linky rechargeable spotlight is. Now, you come with some special options with this uh, product. Uh, first of all, you get your patent pending charging you know, plug right here. Uh, you get your, um, oh, this is cool. You get an adapter for your car, you know, cigarette adapter, power adapter, so you can charge it in your car. You get a strap, so if you want to, like, you know, be pimping, you can hook it there and wear it around your neck. Got my sink link here. And uh, the last thing you get is this, um, this, this a tripod? Yeah, it's a tripod. A tripod. Why do you need a tripod for this? Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Um, wow. Okay. Now, uh, right off that bat, I will say this actually feels good quality. Um, this seems cheap as hell, but I'm assuming it's uh, screws in the top here. And let, let's just see something here. Okay. Now, one thing I will point out with this is uh, the little screw that they have that goes in here. If you see right there, it does not go flush. It does not screw in flush with it. Um, that is kind of a, a slight design flaw. Maybe if they would have had this plastic piece come down farther down the base here, since the light's right here, it wouldn't block the light. Have that plastic piece come down right about here with that little screw, then it would have screwed in flush. Because this, this uh, tripod piece seems like it comes from something else and it, it seems rather flimsy. It's got a little push button here that allows you to adjust it. And um, I'm assuming it's so you can have it set like uh, when you're uh, out and about. Hmm, okay, so it, it, it does actually hold it up. Don't worry, I'll be showing that and in some in-depth tests with this. Um, but so far, um, the actual light itself seems a fairly decent quality. But this right here, if they would have had this plastic come down right about there and then have that pivot hole right there, then this piece could have went perfectly flush into this. And I think that would help with a little bit of the stability factor. But it does seem to hold it fairly decent, considering uh, that this thing is uh, well, really kind of cheap. I mean, that's flimsy, but I guess it serves its purpose. But, uh, you know, let's... Uh, you know, go ahead and turn this thing on. I have not charged it yet. I just received it, and I'm going to see if it's got... Oh, okay. Whoa, go towards the light, my friend. Jeez. Okay. That is high. That is medium. Wow. I don't... Uh, wow. Okay, it's very bright. Oh. If you press and hold it, then it goes to cop mode. Woo! So if you press and hold the button, the top one is what actually operates that. One press, turns it on. Second press goes to medium. Third press shuts it off. Holding it down is when it goes to copper top mode. Okay. And I'm assuming the bottom one is... Uh, Ah! Oh God! Whoa! Ah! Don't do! Oh, there's the camera! Holy crap, Ola! Um. All right. Wow. Um. 
I can't wait to test this out in the dark. This ain't even fully charged yet. Okay. Behind me, that's medium. Okay. Now the SOS mode, let me turn it off. That's high mode. Look, look at that beam, right? Look at the size of that beam, okay? That's medium. Now let's actually go to the uh, SOS mode. Oh, oh God. You're gonna have a seizure much? Holy crap, uh, oh, okay, all right. So far, I have to say this is a, uh, one hell of a badass little thing here. Um, oh wow, go towards the light, my friend. Um, now, like I said, it comes with a nice carrying, it's just your standard issue uh, adjustable. You can adjust it, that's good, with some little clip-ons. Um, I'm not really seeing where it's supposed to clip on, though, on here. I'm assuming that uh, you're supposed to, like, clip it on like this. But, yeah, yeah, okay. And um, I guess you go, like, around here, and then you clip it on again, and boom, you got your little carrying thing. Um, overall, I, I, I can't say I really care for this. This seems like just a, a, a an add-on. This is cheap, but it does seem to actually serve a rather good purpose. I guess this does too if you want to go out like hunting or something and you want to have it around your neck. So when you go, what's that gym? You know, blind them. Uh, but basically, I'm going to go ahead and start running some tests on this. Okay, first of all, the tripod does hold the weight of the lamp. But let's actually tilt it up and see. Okay, it does hold its weight. Let's see here. So, while not the best, the crappy little tri uh, tripod does actually hold the weight of it to where it would actually work. Alright, now one of the biggest selling points of this particular San Leaky, uh, San Leaky, whatever it's called, spotlight, is they claim this thing can actually be seen up to 800 meters away. Now, 800 meters comes to 2,624 feet, give or take, right? Over 2,600 feet away, this supposedly can actually reach. Now, right next to this pole, I have measured out all the way back to the very farthest mount of trees at the end of that field. It's only about 1,000 feet only about a thousand feet so this thing theoretically can do more than double that yeah well you know what we're gonna have to check it out and see I have walked all the way back to the very far reaches of the woods all the way back there and you can barely see it here but I have placed a cardboard sign now theoretically all the way back in those woods it's only about a thousand feet from here. So we'll come back here a little bit later when it's dark and from this point, I will shine the brightest light and see if it can reflect these wooded areas all the way back there and preferably that piece of cardboard. All right, I am back. It is about 8.30 in the evening. I've got my spotlight with me fully charged and I'm gonna test it now. Huh. It is a really bright spotlight. I will give it that. However, I have to say, unless there is something that has a reflective surface, I am not thinking that this is actually going to reach anywhere close to what it said it was supposed to. So I'm going to move a little closer past these trees and see if I can't get that view I'm looking for. All right. I'm going to try this again. And uh, don't get me wrong. This is an insanely good spotlight. But I am not buying the fact that they say that this thing can actually get to 800 meters. 
because this is like a half distance, a little less than half distance of what they say it can do. And honestly, I am not seeing any of the trees down there at all. I mean, you can see the spotlight does a good job in projecting the light, but when you get down there, you see nothing. So I would have to say it actually fails this test. Okay, my next test is gonna be to see how good this actually does project from sitting it down. Let's just say, oh, you wanna work on your tire here. Okay, now as you see, it does actually project fairly well on the tire to where I can see. The tripod does hold it up, so in this case, if you're in the middle of the night, stuck out in the woods somewhere, it will make it to where you can actually see what you're doing. Now, as it being a lantern and you're sitting it down, I honestly kind of think that it works better as the lantern sitting it down than it does on its side with the tripod. Um, honestly, because the tripod's kind of janky and crappy. And uh, this test is going to see how bright this thing can actually go if I actually... Yeah. Pretty bright. Let's see the cop light now. Huh. In the end, um, at least with these current tests, uh, I'll have to say that the spotlight um, honestly is a good spotlight you can actually see a lot of stuff in the dark pitch black very clear I don't believe it gets as far as it says it does though um, that's a minor nitpick on it honestly um, it's good for what it is but now it's a good time to test to see what the battery life on this thing is because they claim you can leave this thing on all night so I'm gonna test that next Okay, now they actually say this thing can hold a charge up to 12 to 24 hours with the bright light on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up here in my bathroom, leave it on all night, and I'm going to come back tomorrow after work. So that's going to be a total 16 hours that this thing will be running. And then we'll actually see how bright it is. So, that is the light currently. And I'm going to pretty much leave it on all night and come back and see if it's any different if it's brighter or dead you know hopefully it'll go but let's go ahead and come back tomorrow and see how this thing is i've had this light on all overnight and while i went to work that's a total of 16 hours that this light has been on since i went to work now i'm going to get close here so you can see what the light brightness is and i will compare it to the picture of the footage that I had showed earlier. All right, for my last test I'm going to be doing with this thing is a claim you can charge your cell phone with it. Now, with my normal cell phone charger, on average, when my cell phone's down to 50% battery life and I charge it, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to get a full charge cell phone. Now, I'm not expecting this thing to even do remotely that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how it charges my cell phone because I'm just going to plug this in and I'm going to give it a half hour and I'm going to see basically what it did with my cell phone and see what level it's charged at. All right, everybody, uh, this was a fully charged uh, one before I plugged it in to charge my phone. I gave it over 45 to 50 minutes, close to an hour's charge. And it is went down. Now, I don't want to be a naysayer when it comes down to a product. But one of the features that they tell you is that you can charge your cell phone with this thing. Now, I almost spent an hour letting it charge and it actually has less power on my phone now than when I plugged it in. Don't get me wrong, 
while that's a novel idea, maybe it's just for emergency power. So maybe I'd have to let my phone go completely dead first. But they act like you could actually charge your phone's battery with this. Uh, maybe I've got a defective one or, or, or something. Maybe the USB in this is defective. Uh, maybe it's defective. I'd like to give it a shot. But I would have to say in this case, using this to charge your cell phone uh, was a complete failure. All right, and that's it. All the tests I put this thing through, and it did fairly decent. Um, first up, I have to say without a shadow of a doubt, the tripod they give you is total freaking garbage. This is junk. This is a piece of shit that they just threw in with it. This should not be in the, the, the package at all. This is a waste of your time. This is not designed for that. Seriously, if this was down to here and that pivot hole was here, then it could go perfectly flush like you see right there, and it would work. But even then, this is too flimsy and a piece of crap, and I wouldn't recommend using it. Because when you're actually out and about and you need this to actually see, basically, turn this on, turn this on, and then you can just set it down like this, and it will illuminate everything you need. You don't need to put that crappy, stupid little uh, tripod thing and have it tilted. That seems pointless. Um, hands down, I do like the features in this of the spotlight itself is a super bright light super powerful though i would have to say um honestly my testing of it it does not reach nowhere near as far as they say it does it is still one hell of a good spotlight but there's no way that this thing reaches over 2500 feet when i tested it in, in certain areas and there's been people online that's tested it, and they're like, well, look, I can see that stop sign. Well, of course you can see the stop sign, you moron. That's reflective. I wanted to try in a real world scenario. You're not going to be searching for stop signs in the middle of the dark, are you? No, you're not. Now, perhaps, maybe, I wasn't able to test this because of the quarantine, but perhaps maybe what they meant by was the fact that someone else can see the light up to 800 meters away. That I can actually believe, but as for you seeing it when you use this, no, that's not true. Um, battery life. Battery life is a major plus in this thing. Once you get it fully charged, uh, you can leave it set on all night long and it will not go out it will get dimmer though but that makes sense as the battery wears down but that was impressive there um hands down charging time does take a little bit to actually charge this it is water resistant not waterproof and i can honestly see in this day and age that everybody should have some sort of one of these um you know rechargeable you know flat you know i wouldn't say flashlights uh but uh spotlights Everybody should have one of these. But here is my final verdict on the Sandlinky Power Charge Spotlight. It is a good spotlight. It is a good quality spotlight. The uh, add-ons on, add they give you, like the cigarette charger is great. Um, your normal charger is great. The, the, the strap... I'm not going to get on this strap. It's your standard strap. It would work well. The only thing I would have to nitpick majorly about is this sucky-ass tripod. It's total garbage. That should not be included in it. And maybe I did something wrong trying to charge my cell phone with it, but it did not charge my cell phone at all. In fact, it took away some of the power. I don't understand what happened there. But now here's the thing about this. This is a good device. It is a good, sturdy, well-crafted device. And I've had no problems with it other than certain minor issues I've pointed out in this review. There's only one major flaw with this. This thing will cost you $40 if you bought it on Amazon.com. You might be able to get a discount here and there. But I have found very similar, if not very similar, almost matching the stats of this, of other um, rechargeable spotlights that are up to $10 cheaper. So honestly, while I can say this is a good quality device, maybe if they would left out this cheap crappy tripod, honestly, you can find similar ones that have the same amount of lumens, same battery charge and everything for about $10 cheaper. Will that detour your from the purchase of the sand leaky uh, spotlight that's solely up to your your own discretion the only thing i could say that faulted this was the fact the tripod's garbage um honestly it didn't charge my cell phone and when they say um 800 uh, 
meters or whatever, which comes to over 2,500 feet, it didn't reach even anywhere near that. Now, maybe, like I said, that's if someone else could see it. But in this day and age, I can actually recommend that everybody should have one of these in your trunk of your car in case of an emergency, if you're out hunting, if you're out camping. Um, this is actually a really good device. The only problem is I can say that you can find some other ones that are about the same quality, $10 cheaper at Amazon. But in the end, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope it helped with you making your decision if you want to get a sand leaky portable you know, spotlight. I want to give big thanks to Joyce and her company for sending me this to actually review. Hopefully, the fact that I didn't give it a 100% praising review, I gave an honest review. Maybe in the future, you might send me some more products to test. I love testing products. But in the end, this was Nate, aka Devil Dog. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Leave in the comments below what you think if there was any sort of test I missed with the San Leaky Portable Spotlight. And in the end, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember, people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time.